then sage is d years which is also the sum of the ages of his three children his age n years ago is twice the sum of their ages then what is the value of d out of n so i made an assumption that the ages of the children are c1 c2 and c3 okay so if that's the um, age of the, the three children, the ages of the three children, then we can write that D equals C1 plus C2 plus C3, the sum of the ages, because which is also the sum of the ages of his three children, so D equals C1 plus C2 plus C3. Then we are told that N years ago, his age, was twice the sum of their ages then. So n years ago, his age would have been d minus n. And n years ago, the children's age will be c1 minus n. So you just take n off c1 minus n, c2 minus n, and c3 minus n. So now we form the final equation that d minus n is equal to twice the sum, so twice the sum of the ages of the children then, so whatever the age of the children was during during that time or n years ago, the twice of c1 minus n plus c2 minus n plus c3 minus n. So from here, we can now group the c1 terms together, c1, c2, c3. So then we can write c1, c2, c3 as equal to t. So that then we can write that's equal to 2 times t minus 3n, and that equals 2t minus 6n. So if you collect the like terms to one side, so t minus 2t would be equal to minus 6n plus n. And then we get t equals 5n. So our work is to find out what is t out of n. So we know what t is in terms of n, that's 5n, so t out of n would be 5n out of n, and that is equal to 5. So the answer is t out of n is equal to 5.